Hmm, what do I think of DaVinci Resolve 16 beta version? Not bad. I actually used two new features that it has, but there's more than that, of course. Let's talk about it. Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today, I want to give you my overall opinion of DaVinci Resolve 16 beta version. And I can tell you right now, compared to the 15, it is better, definitely better. Uh, there's two fe main features that I will highlight. Now, there's a lot other ones in DaVinci Resolve 16, but there's a, there are two that I really like, and I use it more often than, than, than the normal uh, because of these new features, okay? So, but let me talk about DaVinci Resolve 16 first, and then we'll compare that with the 15. So, I have four computer systems that I test these two version on. The uh, the three computer systems I have is at least three years old. It's i7 third or fourth generation, and the Xeon uh, um, multi-core processor that is like at least six years old. So, on those system. Um, there seems to be a problem with uh, DaVinci Resolve 16. Uh, when I try to add different effects on it, uh, they always give me a message of uh, graphic card is full. In other words, there's not enough memory for the GPU. So the GPU card that I have on my older system seems to be lacking in terms of its uh, um, uh, RAM memory. So the memory in the graphic card is uh, between two gig RAM to uh, four gig RAM, and and it's because it's older graphic card. It's also not enough. Uh, so it gave me those message. On my latest uh, laptop, i7 eighth generation with GTX 1050 Ti, four gig uh, VRAM memory. There is no problem with that at all. It actually runs really smooth and quite fast. So if you decide to go with uh, DaVinci Resolve 16 then that's what you need to consider. The hardware, it is very GPU intensive. So you need to be aware of that. If you if you um, have an older system like the i7, uh, I guess fourth, fifth generation, or the Xeon, uh, that was at least five, six years old, then I think stick with the DaVinci Resolve 15 because um, I noticed there's not a problem with that. However, if you are going to upgrade to 16, just ensure that you do have a fast uh, computer system. Okay, enough said with that. Let's talk about DaVinci Resolve 16 beta version, why I like it. Well, let me have a, uh, a look at the screen and then, and then you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go and look at this screen. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we have this DaVinci Resolve 16 uh, monitor and right now I'm on the cut uh, section okay there's actually cut and edit okay but the cut uh, section uh, is why I like to use a lot I mean I, I go back and forth between uh, edit and cut but I find the cut is very useful in a sense that when I say if I, there's a clip that I need to okay so let's say this clip here I want to let's say I want to um, yeah, so let's say I want to cut the clips here. All I have to do is right click and then I just have to split it. And there we go. It's that fast. Where on the uh, edit, it's, it takes a little more effort to do that. And I find that it's not as intuitive. Okay, there's actually not a uh, right button split button. I wish they had that. It would make it much easier. But this is why the cut section is much easier to use when you're like. Um, uh, on a go and you have to edit your uh, video file and put it together really quickly I think edit section is very useful so I've, I've been using the um, the edit uh, section quite a lot the other highlight feature that I like about DaVinci 16 of course is the um, the effects on the slow motion okay for example under uh, the read time and scaling I choose let's say optical flow I go to speed warped and then smoother. I can slow down my shot. Let's say if I have a 60 frames per second, I can slow down to, uh, you know, 10% uh, or 25%. And using this option of optical flow, uh, speed warp, and uh, smoother effect, I can actually make the slow motion image or video 
very very smooth and with little artifacts so so those two feature I use quite a lot and um, I find that just for those two feature I find that DaVinci Resolve 16 is definitely better than the 15 but like I said the 15 um, is more stable if if you have a older hardware system but if you have a newer hardware system like the um, uh, i7 8th generation with a GTX or RTX um, graphic card uh, that's at least 1050 Ti uh, or if you're looking at RTX like 20, uh, 2060, 2070 with a minimum of uh, 4 uh, gig RAM, VRAM then you should be fine okay so that's my take on DaVinci Resolve 16 it's a very very good uh, software editing software it's free too if you um, want to download it now if you want to get the studio version which have a, a lot more feature and like for example the grain effect and other effects as well as the um, you know be able to uh, edit in four six uh, sorry eight K then maybe you want to get the DaVinci Resolve Studio but if you're just doing four K and um, you know don't care so much about the film grain and other effects then the free version is more than adequate okay I'm probably gonna wait until when DaVinci Resolve sixteen they come up with a full version not beta version then I might consider buying the full studio version. I think it's worth the money, especially you compare that to uh, Adobe Premiere, um, Premiere or After Effects, the whole package for video editing. I find that that's quite expensive. Um, you know, if you have to pay it manual, um, monthly, right? And then of course you, it all adds up over in the uh, over the years. It will be quite expensive. So that's why I moved to DaVinci Resolve. I mean, the main reason, of course, is the color grading that DaVinci Resolve does and does it really well. In fact, I think it's much more superior than other uh, type of video editors. Right? Thanks for watching. EducateTube.com.